Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Hengdal Chitta. Dharma Dude was sitting around deeply practicing Prajnaparamita and scrolling through his Facebook feed when he suddenly found it. That one teaching that would change his life, that would enable him to reach out and save the many beings. Pausing briefly to reshare it, our intrepid Dharma warrior went out into the world and wandered around until he found a funeral home where something was going on. And he walked in and there happened to be a viewing for a prominent local businessman who was gunned down in the process of arranging garbage transfer routes and ran to the front of the viewing and banged loudly on the casket to get everyone's attention. And he said, yes, he's dead, but it's okay. No mud, no lotus. And he promptly received 30 wax. Now, before I get the angry letters from Thay's followers, let me say that I actually really love that saying. If you notice uh, a, a theme in a lot of what I talk about, I, I like to break down my own favorite things. So no mud, no lotus. It's a fascinating concept but probably not something we get to just throw at people. Probably not something we should just throw at ourselves without being aware of what it's teaching, what it's implying. And, and so I'll, I'll jump to another famous meme to kind of work this out. Khalil Gibran, uh, often on the internet as well, another great saying, out of suffering have emerged the strongest souls. The most massive characters are seared with scars. And I think we all know at least one of those people. The person who has truly been through it all, through things that would destroy many of us, and they still smile and their smile opens up the heavens. And sometimes we even secretly, you know, we, there's a little dark place in our minds that, that gets sick of them because, you know, a, a, a truck carrying sewage overturns on their lawn and while they're raking it out, they're whistling and going, that's all right, I'll have good flowers next year. And you, you get a little sick of being around them sometimes. But is it, is it the suffering? Is it the scars that make them that way? And, and I'll say no, because we probably all also know the opposite. The person that's that's been through it all and has the scars and they're miserable and bitter and angry and troubled. And you walk up and you say, boy, it's a pretty day today. Look at that sunshine. And they say, yeah, I'll probably get cancer from it. So it's not the suffering, it's not the, the scars. What is it? The beginning of the Dhammapada, the, the very first two sentences, and they're repeated in the second stanza, mind is the forerunner of all actions. All deeds are led by mind, created by mind. So when we apply mind, to no mud, no lotus. There's one way to look at it, which is to say that it's all in our approach. It's what we choose to do with the mud. And, and we've all talked about that. I've, I'm sure talked about it. You know, we, we choose, we make the choice. We, we decide at a certain point that it's up to us to say, 
yeah, this, this kind of sucks, but I'm going to do the best I can with it. And there's nothing wrong with that either. We look at our hindrances as opportunities, our obstructions as, as opportunities, the, uh, the stoic way, the obstacle becomes the path. But I think we need to take this just one more step deeper. And yes, the obstacle is the path. The obstruction is the path. The mud is what we grow out of. It's our circumstance. It's the events. But where we are still missing it, where we're still getting caught up is we're attaching a negative label to the mud. We're taking all of that shit and saying, well, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It sucks, but it's the mud and I can grow a lotus out of it. We're still attaching a negative label instead of saying mud is mud. The lotus grows out of the mud. The lotus is the mud. The lotus becomes the mud. But ultimately, Mud is mud, good, bad, indifferent, sunshine, storms, death in a family, birth of a child, mud is mud. And the ground is that upon which we grow without the labels, without the negative connotations, without the same self-congratulation that we're turning something dark and dismal into something beautiful. The mud is just the mud and the lotus grows from it.